Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you another Test of Chase on Massacre video game video. This video is how can we make Tessus great again? Um, player base is slowly dying off and a lot of people are having issues with balance and this and that kind of stuff. So I wanted to go over and talk about my thoughts on how to make the game better, rebalance things, just change stuff and make have a better game. Uh, but before we get into that, I wanted to let you guys know, um, at the end of the video, I will be having a uh, word. You'll have to type in the comments if you want to be entered for a giveaway. It's a key for a uh, PS5 version of Tessus. I was given, so to give out. And also, you got to be a subscriber if you're not already uh, to be entered. If you're not a subscriber, I'm going to pitch someone else. Um, and it has to be shared uh, that you are subscribed, like... Um, in the comments, it'll show that you're subscribed to me. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into my thoughts and everything on where Tessus is standing right now and why it's in this scenario and pretty much everything. Um, so, during the beta, during the launch, um, everyone was like, this is new experiences, it kind of feels balanced. Then everyone started to get to know the maps and the rush meta for ha Family House. Um, it was different then because some things were left off and this and that kind of stuff. While we're still in the same scenario with the Rush meta, except perks are helping way more. That's the big thing with it. Um, uh, perks hurt the game a lot, especially certain perks, which we're going to talk about. I just feel like a lot of people complain about the Rush meta. It's, it is a strategy, but it does also have to be tamed or penalized more because... In a real life scenario, you're never going to do this unless that, like, very last moment, like, running up the driveway and that kind of stuff. Like, rushing through everything is just, they need to put a, a um, lock on your leg and tame it down, um, penalize it more. Just make it, you don't want to do it more. And I know, like, victims are going to complain about that, but if, if you guys are just having fun and always winning... That's why we're having such problems right now with family. And I'm going to go off this post right now that someone wrote uh, about li Grippling Last Resort. And Grippling is a big issue right now. Not just for Rush Meta, but everything. Um, there's a lot of perks revolving around Gripping. But this is what he said. He, you could tell he's kind of a victim main. Um, and this is not me picking on. I play both sides. I do play family more because I just enjoy Chasing people. I, I, I find no fun in Victim. I don't think it's hard, really. Uh, when does Last Resort begin? Johnny can kill Victims in four hits and under. Hitchhiker has fired up Scout. Wireframe can Victims endless through crawl spaces, wall gaps. Sissy can affect rubber legs. Fratch Victims victims with quick hits. Larry has an instant kill overhead. My family demands Victims use grip as of our last word. What do they assume that is? Is yet another meaningless rule placed on Victims to get them a worse odds and worse chances of survival. I understand some of his saying, what he's saying. Yes, Johnny can hit, but there's ways around it. Johnny has nothing else besides doing damage. His tracking sucks. Yeah. Hitchhiker, yes. His fired up scout wire build is crazy, but there's still ways around it. You can go over stuff that he can He has to figure out a way, another way around. Sissy, no one really uses rubber legs since they nerfed it. Yes, she can do damage. She can be a great killer, but she also has a limit of guarding places. Uh, Letterface has an instant kill overhead. Yes, he does. Well, hardly ever does he just get a hit from overhead unless they're already somewhat damaged. And his camera and his controls are very limited when he's doing overhead. And you still have to do the one hit usually. There's always opportunities to avoid this i see people dodge it a lot i'm played for a long time i still miss sometimes it happens yes when you get a hit it feels when letterface gets a hit it's very um great it feels great to hit them but there's so much stuff you could do to avoid this like unless you're in an open field you're you can still do spins and that kind of stuff to make a mess up Everything has a balance on the family side. There's Yes, it might be hard sometimes as the match goes on. But everything kind of has a balance. I'm not defending 
that, yes, family can be strong and that kind of stuff. But um, this is my comments to him. Keep defending your builds and also enjoy sitting in the lobbies, waiting on the family. At some point, there will be no one to face. Seeing it happen on other games when one side ruins the game or is way more overpowered, devs keep it. Keep letting it happen. It died, so will this if they don't get a hold of this. You can tell it started already because ga the game has been going on sale back to back on different platforms. It went on Steam, it was a free weekend, now it's 50% off PlayStation. This is the trail of uh, games need players. It goes on sale and they just go, yeah, we need players, buy it. So we can get more family in there so they can just balance out the lobbies. And that's, you gotta balance your game. It, it, that'll keep people. Bring people back. That kind of stuff. But, um, let's talk about, um, perk balancing. Because we kind of talked about the Rush Mado already. Um, overhaul. Yes, there's going to be a good amount of list of victim perks, but there are some family ones I'm going to talk about. Um, the reason I'm going to talk about a lot of these is because it's all grip mechanics. So, of course, Fast Hands is the super big one now because of Virginia and uh, Danny. They have Fast Hands. No one else has it right now. That could change. But Fast Hands, with the right other people with you, or just you can do it yourself. Fast Hands is very powerful. It does need some balancing. I'm not saying nerf it completely, but just balance it. Uh, choose Flight. I don't think it's too bad, but I feel like the health you get back is too much, or the stamina you get back is too much. The stamina is just like, you shouldn't get a full stamina, maybe a half stamina. That might balance it out a little bit. I personally don't think it's overpowered, but some other people do, and I can see that. Um, empowered, it, that's a really powerful, because not only does it give you health, it also gives you stamina, and 90% of your max stamina, that's a lot. And you can keep doing it. Like, you run out of stamina, just grip them, boom, you're back in the game. And you could just, by the time they're not unstunned, you already have another one, and you could be off going. And it, everyone's like, oh, they have limited piles. There's so many piles in it, you'll never run out. Unless everyone in the game is doing the same thing, and which never happens. Uh, Agitator. I don't like this perk because I don't run a blood build. I don't do blood builds. I know some people do. But I feel like it could be very annoying where you do work up Grandpa and boom, you're... You, your grandpa's gone again. Like, if no one's doing blood, it, it's, and you finally get the first perk, it's just, it's just so annoying to me. It, it's a very annoying perk, and it really affects the game overall. Like, it needs to be balanced, where it takes, level one takes half, like 0.5. Second level takes maybe 1.5. And then the last one takes two or something like that. Somewhere it could be balanced. 2.5 is oh, it's two levels. Almost three. And most people are going to have level three by now. So it's just that's just too much. That's too much power. If you look at something, it's too much power on certain things. So the next one is um, Tan Quan Door. Slam Family for... Slam doors on family will stun the target 12 seconds. 12 seconds on level 1. 14 seconds on level 2. 16 seconds. That's almost 20 seconds. It, that's way too much. Cut that in half. For everything. Cut it in half. That's, that's the way I look at that. Because you can keep doing that. And it, there's no... Or if you're going to have that long... Put it on a thing where it has, like, uh, how many times you do it. Like, that. I think that's the thing they need to do more is put where you can only do it so often. I know they have on some. Some they don't. Um, another thing we're going to talk about is Danny's tampering rebounds. I know, it was already rebounds. It needs to be round balanced again. Especially with the mill map. If the... Once it fits that he can tamper the valve again... The mill map is going to become the new Nancy house. Where it's not fun to play. Uh, because 
the valve could be all the way up there. All right, let's say I'm playing Danny. I'm going around the basement. They don't have no letter face, or they do have a letter face, but he, he never runs into me or whatever. I have my instant thing. I get, I can, there's enough stuff in the basement I can get all the way to the level because their basement has a lot. The, the mill basement has so much stuff you can easily get it. I come out the one door into that building. I don't remember the exact names under underground, but um, you come up to them stairs. You could go right over, go upstairs, go upstairs, go upstairs, grab a valve on my way up because there's one in that building. Go up, put it on, tamper it, and out I go the other way, back way, and a family member runs up there and he wasted time coming up there. Someone's going out the other exit while he's lining up there and there's nothing you can do. There's no balance to that. You can't... How are you going to affect it? Yes, you can put a trap. All he needs is a, a, a little thing to break it. That's it. it. It needs to be tampered for the valve. needs to be adjusted some. I think the great idea would be to make it take longer for them to shut it off. Like, the time to turn it. And then, yeah, if he gets stunned, then, yeah, then you have to start over. But at least give him a chance to be able to turn it off. Where not having to turn it off at all is ridiculous. That's too much. I can understand some of the other stuff, but the valve is super easy. There's, it's just too easy to tamper. And with it being damaged right now, a lot of family members are happy because they don't have to deal with that. But I overall think it needs to be rebalanced just for the valve. Everything else I think is okay because you can kind of guard them a little bit better. But when an objective's out of their way and there's no way to really block except putting traps there, it and traps can be broken pretty easily, fastly. All right, so let's talk about family. So the big ones are fire up and scout. Um, I don't know if both need to be changed at the same time but I feel like if you adjust either one of them the other one will kind of be affected I think the easiest way to do would be do um, fire up in like 90% like if you're level 3 you get 3 times 2 times on level 2 1 time on level 1 that kind of stuff like where it'll do it you have ticks you could do and I feel like that would balance it out a little bit so that you don't have unlimited stamina all the time. I think that will balance it out <coughs> for fire up. Um, and then the next one I'm going to talk about is Stinger Alarms. Stinger Alarms, a lot of victims complain about. Yes, it is a very powerful perk. And most people put it as their only perk. It is very strong for family. And I feel like when you open doors, you should be able to hear them. Or at least get some revive from it I, I don't know if you need a perk for it I don't I f I think it's fine I went against the student alarms I never have issues you just gotta be insane be smart with it you can take it out really easy with stabs it's not that hard to do to deal with it personally I can understand some people complain about it but I don't think it's that bad Personally, from my experience, um, now let's talk about Johnny and Sissy. I definitely need feel like they need to do something else with them. Johnny and Sissy can, are power can be very good powerhouses, but they have no defense, and that's what holds a lot of people using them back. Because people, a lot of people stay to the original OG three, which is Letterface, Cook, and Hitch, because. You got two things to hold victims back, and you got a powerhouse. Where Johnny is sissy. Johnny does have powerful, but tracking really doesn't come in use a lot of times unless you're hunting the last victim, or you are very good at tracking. Sissy, her pow her powder is really strong, but hitting people, unless they're going for gaps, that kind of stuff, or you get lucky with it. When I use Sissy, I don't use the powder as much. I poison stuff. That's about it. Um, I don't use Johnny Assist that much. I feel like Johnny needs like just 
and I've been saying this for a while. My friend said this for a while. Take the chickens. You know, everyone hates the chickens. Nugget. Have Johnny move the chickens to better spots. Like, buy doors and that kind of stuff. Give him the, something to do at the start besides waiting at the door to go to the basement. Because he's really powerful in the basement. But, give him something to kind of defend against. Sissy, I'm not sure. Maybe. Give her the ability to poison certain doors. So when they tamper with it, or not tamper with it, try to open it, they get poisoned. And you kind of know that kind of thing. You've been, they've been poisoned. So you can kind of keep an eye out for it. Give her some kind of defense. Um, now the other thing is for solo players that don't have mites, or you're playing with people that don't have mites, you're not playing with friends or a group, um, pain system or commands to help so you don't have to be on mic. I don't think any game should make you have to be on um, mic, especially as a solo player. Um, going off of that, solo players as family is not fun, especially if you had no mic for, uh, for other people. Group family can be very overpowered, same as group victims can be very balanced. I've faced a family, uh, not family, but I faced a victim where one was Virginia and one was, I think, Leland. Leland would stun me as she's doing the fast hands and they got through the front of Nancy's house and I could not do anything. Like, I was stunned so long, I tried to stand in front of the lock. My other family members, <coughs> excuse me, um, couldn't do it. I couldn't do anything with them because they didn't have their mice on. So it was not very fun. So let's talk about probably the most biggest thing that everyone's going to talk about. Content to a lot. Just content. They are a bit slow because they have to keep going back to make fixes. That's not a problem. Fixes, we know there's bugs. We know there's issues. They don't test well enough. Uh, but content to a lot. They've been saying this forever. We have none. I don't know when they're going to be adding stuff. Same with in-game credit. I don't know when they'll be adding that. They definitely need to add that so people that don't want to have don't have real money to buy DLC and that kind of stuff. And a new mode, I think they need to be added. If family members want to get away from perks or victims want to get away from perks, I think they're too overpowered. Add that hardcore mode. What the hardcore mode does is you keep the basic perks that had in the beta, the ones that just are very basic that just help you. Don't empower you anymore and it's a new hardcore mode where everyone just has their basic ability that had it and the, the basic perks and yeah you just play um i don't know to add this it's no hud mode that might make it extremely hard but maybe have a no hud mode and then uh i know you're splitting up the player base but you need to do this because family needs something to play till you balance out the perks and yeah, that's pretty much about it. I know this video is pretty long, but I rambled on a little bit for certain things because I have a lot of dedication in this game. I think the game can be good, but I also feel like there's a lot of things they need to fix. Course buds, and they need to overhaul the certain things. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Um, the, the comment you want to put is, Bubba's a good boy. That's what you want to write. Make sure you just subscribe, and at the end of the week, I will pick someone to get a PS5 uh, digital copy of Tesla Chainsaw uh, for PS5. So you have to have a PS5. It'll, I believe it'll also give you the PS4 version too. So if you have both, that's good. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you leave a like. Comment and subscribe.